is up, wonderful people of the internet? You are watching Amethyst Budgets, and I am Amethyst in Question. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. Over on this channel, we are stressed but blessed, working through a low-income budget, trying to get my money up. I'm self-employed, so I have five different streams of income that are all pretty much gig work. They're all like a bunch of side hustles that compile into one income, but I'm working towards getting into a different tax bracket, and by doing so, building up my own business, and just in general, trying to make my life more sustainable. Um, so today's video is going to be a lot, so um, I'm not going to talk too long in this intro. I will say I do have a really big giveaway happening right now, so go check my channel and find that video and make sure you are entered, especially if you have been a subscriber already. If you aren't subscribed and you enjoyed today's video, please do consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and I really love having people over here on my channel. Um, today I don't have any nails on, but I am wearing this cuticle oil by Ballerina and stilettos. She does sell a cuticle oil and it is super pretty and it smells really good. If my camera will focus, you guys will be able to see the pretty shine. Why isn't it working? My computer, my computer. Well, my computer too, but my camera's been acting like a fool, but yeah, I really like it. Um, I hopefully will have some nails on by the end of the week, but for right now, we are going to be using some bare nails. Um, so yeah, let me think what else there was that I wanted to say. I believe that was it. To start off, what we're going to do is reorganize my binders. Um, I didn't make all of my bills last month, so there were some issues. Um, and I had to like move things around weirdly and we're gonna do like a miniature savings challenge so like real quick I'm just going to stuff two savings challenges one is this five dollar savings challenge for my rats let me find a marker so this is for their diet I am doing um, this yeah this saving challenge is for their diet I want to save up for a specialty type diet um, but it is a little bit of a down payment the first time I get started on making it But eventually it ends up being cheaper and better and healthier for my rats So oh, and I have three pet rats in case you are new sometimes you will see them on the channel um, But this is just a five dollar savings challenge ironically it is cats um, For their food, so we're gonna take that out of this so this money um, If you want to know where it's from I will leave it in the cards and what I'm gonna do is just put in a ten and take out this five so it gets this much. Put that back in here. And I'm getting a phone call, so be <laughs> so many interruptions. Okay, I'm back again. So I just filled out that saving challenge. This is my saving challenge binder. It is essentially mostly for like two month ahead challenges, but there are some other ones in there. We're gonna get into my bills binder right here. Actually, this is not my bills binder. It was, it is not anymore. This is the honey pot binder, which is just like fun things. It's the honey pot because of Winnie the Pooh. Yes, I am a nerd. You will see that very much on this channel. Um, and I feel like the exposure is weird again. I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to work with the camera and figure out what is best here um, so let me know if this looks okay to you if you think that it's too dark or too bright um, so this is my dog envelope it's actually just my pet envelope because it says dog has a cat but I have pet rats so um, we are going to get the rest of the money out of this envelope and pop it into here I have used some of this money already besides the saving challenges so what we have this is like the grossest cash ever um, 10, 20, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 10, what would that be, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 38, this will be for emergent, like, right now they should be fine on bedding, food, toys, etc, but if I wanted to get them some treats, or if I can't afford to put money into that savings challenge for one week, I can take it out of here. Um, so it makes sense in my head. We're going to continue on. So I do need a back to bank envelope. Hold on. Okay, so I have this envelope here. I got it when I did like a star note search thing. I got like a bunch of banded cash and so they gave it to me in here. It's going to be my bank envelope for right now. Um, so the money in here is supposed to go back to the bank, but because I do both online and in cash stuffing, what I can end up doing is instead of pulling out the cash from my account, um, I don't know how to properly explain this. So like this $40 has already been spent in my PNC account. So instead of just putting it back in my account to take it back out for my next paycheck, I'm just going to 
take like leave it here and then when I get paid that forty dollars is just gonna pay myself back I hope that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense I feel like I just end up confusing everybody with the things I do <laughs> but okay so that's one that one's done this is for YouTube and this is not getting unstuffed there's ten dollars in here this is of course going to that really big giveaway that I have going on my home has been um, charged so this is a fake bill this is going back into my little um, fake cash bank right here this was for my security system I pay ten dollars a month so this is my PC gaming savings challenge. I thought I was going to stuff it on today's video. I decided I'm actually not going to. I'm just going to wait. I wanted to kind of put all of this in there right now, but there's not enough space in the, like, these ones won't hold all of the cash that's in here. So for today, I'm actually just going to skip this, and we will do it in my cash stuffing video, or I can dedicate another video to all of my savings challenges. If you're interested in any of the savings challenges that have this shape right here, they are on my Etsy shop. You can go ahead and purchase them. You can get them in black and white. Um, I Black and white or color. I printed these out at UPS and the ink is sticking to my envelopes. That doesn't happen whenever I print stuff out like at home so I think that whatever card like paper they used um, isn't quite functional for these so in the future I will do something different. Then we have my Cricut Savings Challenges which is so close to being done and then all of this Looks good, good, Samsung, good. Okay, so this is $12 that was set aside for my Spotify, and that came out. So we're going to put this back in my digital bank. Then we have Wi-Fi, which also came out. So back to the digital bank. I only pay $25 a month for Wi-Fi. If you are low income, you can get a government subsidy with Spectrum. It's $25, and I think it's $30 for Verizon. Rent did come out, and there is some cash in here that is going back to the bank um, because my rent comes out online. If you're interested in cash slip placeholders similar to this one, you can buy them off of my Etsy shop. I can do $100, $1,000, $500. Basically any denomination you want, I can manage a way to make it. It can be whatever characters you want, background colors, you can do it cash or laminated. I got the goods over here, and if you want something customized, if you want a savings challenge customized, I'm just going to say it, you can get that done. Just hit me up and we can work together to make something that you love. So yeah. Cool. So rent is cleared out. Electric is the same thing. My bill has been consistently low, so I am excited about that. And, oh my god, putting money back in the bank like this is so annoying. I don't know what it is about doing this, but it's so tedious to me for some reason. It's not even that tedious, but it just annoys me. <laughs> okay, so that is cleared out. All of my bills come out near the beginning and end of the month, so yeah, taxes is all Gucci. And all of these are empty, as they should be, because I am a baroque. Y'all, my rats are scaring me all morning. They're making these noises that, like, are not traditional rat noises, and it's freaking me out. Anyways, so those are cleaned out, um, unstuffed. I was supposed to do that in the last video, but I didn't. So this money is going into the bank. This is such a big envelope, my goodness. I felt weird when they gave it to me, too, because it's like, okay, should I give it back to you? And they're like, no, you can just keep it. I'm like, okay, that's so weird. <laughs> Make sure you can see everything perfect. And so today, we're going to need a calculator. I'm so unprepared today for some reason. Okay, now it's feeling a little bit dark, but that's whatever. So 300 times 0.25 is going to be how much, um, okay, I did something wrong is going to be my taxes amount, so we're going to do that, come over here, and then also write that in. So now we have 300 minus 75, leaving me with 225. The only bills that are coming out this pay period, my Samsung, which is going to be $30, so I just have to make sure that my Samsung payment has 30 and um, I know I was talking about <laughs> having a spending problem, but um, I went ahead and I purchased a new phone. <laughs> so I got the newer Samsung because my my phone is my job, basically. I do delivery driving and I'm like I need a good phone for that. 
Um, and my phone currently has been crashing and just not working right. And so I actually needed to get a new phone because mine, like I said, it's been crashing, overheating super easily. And you can't really have that when you are a delivery driver. And it has started to affect my delivery apps. So I, I kind of needed that. So I went ahead and got it. But my new financing is actually cheaper per month. But I am going to be doing $30 a month even though the payment is like $9. Because I just want to get it paid off as quick as possible. Um, so it was unfortunately like kind of necessary. Because this phone that I have currently is just not working properly. So we got... Um, okay, something wrong. This... Here we go. <laughs> So minus 30. So those are the only things that are coming out this week. Um, my Chase and Amazon are good, so I'm not going to be stuffing these ones. I still have some money from the stock market that I'm using to pay these off, and I'm going to pay off a really large sum this week. Um, Pet is not getting anything from the Honey Pot binder because I, as you saw, I have enough. YouTube is getting five dollars. Home should be good for right now. And then same thing with pretty much all of these. It's it's a tight amount this week, so as much as I would really love to put in like five here, five there, I'm just going to focus on the more important things. Um, so it's getting five dollars, and this is going to be five dollars in cash. Gas is getting thirty dollars. That actually, gas is going to get forty, but thirty has already been removed because I got I filled up this morning. So this is going to stay online. Okay, and then for food, food I'm going to be giving $40 as well. And that's going to stay online because I actually have been doing grocery pickup, which I've been loving. So that's what we're doing there. And then takeout is going to get 7 well, it's going to get, hmm, takeout will do 10 And that one will be cash. Leaving me with 100 smackaroos. So, I know which ones we're not stuffing for right now. So we'll get those out of the way. Well, okay, let's do 5, 10, 15, 20. And then do 80 in rent. I think that'll work. Yep, that looks like it'll work. Um, as for what we're taking out cash, let's see. So these ones will actually all be online. So we're doing this. And what that means is I basically have, so I have PNC, so I will take um, money from my spending account and put it into what's called a reserve account, which is like a median between a savings account and a checkings. Um, so I can pull from that as many times as I would need to for the month. Um, and then I also of course have my savings which is when you can't pull out more than six times a month. But what I'm going to do is take all of this money out of my checkings account which is where I get paid and put it into my reserve account. And then when those bills come out they will hit my checkings account and I take from my reserve and I move it over to my checkings. So that's how I deal with my bills currently. I'm currently in the process of transferring over to an all cash budget which will hopefully be like um, when I get, when, one month ahead, first of all, is my big goal, and then basically all my bills will come out on a credit card, and then I can use the cash at the end of the month to pay off the credit card. So that's the ultimate goal. So for today, I literally only have 10 and 15 in cash, which means that the money that I pulled out of those accounts to, like, roll over into this pay period or to be used for this pay period, I'm actually, I'm just going to take that cash and put it into the bank because there's no point in keeping it out. So yeah, kind of disappointing, but that's kind of the nature of it right now. Um, I am trying to catch up with some of your guys' comments because my last video, um, talking about my June goals and stuff, had some really incredible comments and I didn't want to just like quickly respond. I want to give like a heartfelt response to those. Um, I did want to say too, I was getting a lot of advice on like managing money and stuff and I really, really do appreciate it. I will say that my overspending is literally like maybe $15 a week but when you're so low income $15 makes a big difference um, so the overspending is like using my credit card and then overspending like buying food out um, 
So it's not really a problem with like subscriptions and stuff. The only subscription I have is Spotify. I use my friends' accounts for <laughs> for Hulu, for Disney, for Netflix. Um, and then I have a annual membership to Crunchyroll. So like memberships aren't really like too big of a deal for me and I don't overspend with groceries and stuff. If anything, I need to spend more money on groceries, which is why I'm giving myself more than I usually do, um, because I'm currently battling like unhealthy mindsets with food and money. So, Europe. Um, <laughs> that is that. That is that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You'll see this cash stuffing hopefully on Thursday. I really sincerely appreciate each and every single one of you so very much. I'm so grateful that you are here um, watching my videos and supporting me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. My email will also be linked down below as well as my PO box. You can write me um, or contact me if you want to do a collab or anything like that. I am very open to working with people. So yeah, thank you guys so very much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!